the next movie is called Dialysis. Yeah, mm. that movie right there. Yeah. Um, a lot of a lot of people don't that ain't on dialysis don't really understand dialysis. You know, I understand a lot of people go to dialysis with their loved ones that's on dialysis, but they don't really understand the BS that people go through that's really on it. You know what I'm saying? That's been the one that's hooked up to the machine. So I just really want to point out a lot of BS that I've been going through that I feel that it's not fair that, you know, I feel that the Vita and all the rest of the dialysis centers is a lie. You feel what I'm saying? Because they don't, they don't check, you know what I'm saying? Everything they supposed to check as far as they, the, 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 the people that's working there, their attitude. And then, you know, a lot of people that's working there as foreigners. I ain't got no problem with no foreigners, but it's like, yo, you in America, you feel what I'm saying? You need to, you know what I'm saying? Like, no, like study, study to show yourself approved in America. Yeah. Don't get mad at, at somebody that's a, a American that's talking to you and they lay the tongue and you don't understand it. Then you flip the words and then it's like, and being black, being young on dialysis, not really having that moral support, somebody there to speak for you. You off the machine, on the machine, you're dealing with different BS from the technician. He say, she say. I mean, I don't have police called on me at dialysis. Like, bruh. I mean, it, it's just BS, you know what I'm saying? Then the the insurance, you know what I'm saying? Like, I was supposed to get a like go get fitting for a kidney on the 18th of uh, uh, 2023. The day of the appointment, I'm walking out the door, bro. You know what I'm saying? I have to be there like 4.30, 4, 4.45 in the morning. You feel what I'm saying? I'm walking out the door about to get in the lift. My phone ring. They say, hey, yeah. Your insurance ain't covering this 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 wow. appointment. But listen, they was calling me every day, every day up until the appointment, prepping me, make sure I'm ready, make sure I be there on time, make sure I got the more support to be there, this, that, and that. So it's like, yo, what, like y'all that's trying to kill me at the end of the day. You feel what I'm saying? Like I've been on it six years. Like come on now, like what what's the problem? At, every time it's time, I, I I'm. I'm doing the best I could do. Been on dialysis and mess with your, your mood swings and mess with your memory. Like, I have memory loss. I'm only 37 years old. Like, it's hard for me to remember a lot of things. You feel what I'm saying? So it's like, and then it's like, I, I, I'm, I'm on dialysis by myself. I don't have nobody to speak up for me. So a lot of times it's like, I have to learn how to really control my mouth, control my temper when it comes to speaking up for myself, when it comes to my health. I don't have technicians stick me and bruise my arm. My arm bruised up like, you know what I'm saying? Like real bad. And then they, I'm the one that get kicked out of dialysis because I get turned up because it's like, yo, this is my health. Y'all know what could come behind a, a bruised arm? You feel what I'm saying? Like, stop playing. Y'all know blood clots are coming and if, this, it, and if I catch a fashion, this, that, and that, it could be all bad for me. But y'all ain't worried about it. Then they tell you the right channels to go through. You go through the right channels and still nothing be done. So, yeah, putting out this movie, Dialysis, like, I can't speak about nobody else, you know what I'm saying, days on dialysis but myself. And, like, in the beginning, it was smooth operator. You know what I'm saying? I've been through maybe, like, sheesh, maybe 10, 10 different dialysis centers already in the six years because it's like, yo, y'all not going to treat me no any type of way. You're not going to talk to me no any type of way. You know what I'm saying? And, like I say, so putting out this movie, hopefully to put a lightning awareness to the right people that need to really check who they got taking care of people on these, you know what I'm saying? On the, on, on this type of treatment, you know what I'm saying? How they talk and how they, you know what I'm saying? Like it just, like I have to go through a lot just to get them to like talk to me correctly. I have to go through a lot for them to even get to understand me. Like I said, I got shot in my neck. So I messed up the arm that I get dialysis in. So I'm in always like intense pain. One day the needles coming out my arm and I was like, Oh F this hurt. The technician, which is a, you know, saying they don't speak good English, went back to the management of the dialysis center and said, I cursed her out. Wow. So then now they want to try to penalize me. And you know what I'm saying? This is your, you know what I'm saying? Your final only warning. Wait, you giving me a warning off of something that was tucking, wrongly off of somebody that can't understand me properly. Like y'all get these Jesus nails put inside of you and get these Jesus nails tucking out of you and tell me if that feel good. 
There's no lidocaine. There's nothing you could do to ease the pain when some big old 15, 18 gauge needles is coming in and out of your arm. So it's like, yeah, man. So me putting out this movie, Dialysis, I'm just trying to really, you know, share my story. And, and believe it or not, it have been a lot of artists that have been on dialysis. Shout out to um, Scarface, his mm-hmm. son that gave him his, a kitten. That's beautiful. You know what I'm saying? Um, Freeway. Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? He was, I don't know if he's still on dialysis, but if he is, shout out to him too. But you know what I'm saying? Um, a lot of other people that, you know, don't speak up on it or don't really put it out there. I'm not looking for no sympathy or empathy. I'm just trying to put my story out there so people know how to deal with it. You feel what I'm saying? Because sometimes verbally, you know what I'm saying, it, it just don't get it just don't get across to them like I needed to. Mm. Thank you for sharing that. I've never had anyone on my my channel break down, you know, their problems with dialysis, and I'm sure there are a lot of people that experience that. So I appreciate it. Um, I want to go back before that, before you got diagnosed. Was it uh, something hereditary, genetics, or was it like a certain life? Uh, yeah, man. So, you know what I'm saying? I, I lived the lifestyle, man, where I was very uh, depressed. You know what I'm saying? I was very depressed and uh, suicidal when I was coming up, man. Mm-hmm. So, um, what's, yeah, you know, on my mother's side and, my, and on my father's side, well, on my mama's side, I know about sickness too, you know what I'm saying, run through the family. But I uh, tried to take my life and overdose on some pills that ate half of my pancreas what wow. caused me to have diabetes. So I was on, I was just diabetic at first. You feel what I'm saying? And then I was still out there knocking, running wild in the streets, you know what I'm saying? And not really paying attention to the health. And then, you know, once I did, it was to the point where, you know what I'm saying? I got put on the metformin, the metformin didn't help. So they put me on the insulin. And then, so um, I just got off the of insulin maybe like two years ago. Um, my levels is good. But before then, uh, yeah, I had my pancreas. Uh, it caused me to have the diabetes that I had not been able to really, you know, pay attention to it until I really sat down. I got married to my first wife, which was a, um, a nurse in the air force. And she, the one that really pointed out like, bro, you need to. So that's when I started really paying attention to it. And then, you know, it was just been a domino effect after that, you know what I'm saying? It went from diabetes. Um, I was passing kidney stones real bad. So they put in a kidney stent. You know what I'm saying? On the left side of my body, which they left in for like uh, too long. So when they took it out, I was still having like, you know, like complications with that. And then, well, then I used to drink a lot. So I drank off my pancreas, the, the lining of my stomach. So it caused me to have pancreatitis. Mm. So um, I haven't drunk no liquor since 2000 and maybe 12, 13, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and at the end of the day, it's not just liquor that flares that up. Red sauce, chocolate, uh, a lot of different foods that, you know, I was at, at first not really aware of. So I'm just out there eating, eating, eating. And I'm wondering why I'm just throwing up in so much pain because I'm putting the wrong thing in my body with this pancreatitis that keep on swelling me up, flaring me up. So I'm in the hospital, in the ER, that's, you know, that's, not really understanding. So, um, 2015 is really when I found out my kidneys start shutting down. It took three years for them to really catch up to really, you know what I'm saying? Like bring me closer to death. And that was in 2018. So it, it, it just been a domino effect, you know what I'm saying? And now it's just the, the fight, you know what I'm saying? Um, the fight to stay alive, which I love doing. I ain't going to even lie, bro. You know what I'm saying? Um, it do get me down. It do get me depressed sometimes, but I love praying and I love talking to God and I love when God brings me out of it because that's what he always do. He show up and show out, you know what I'm saying? So I just don't pray to God when things is bad. You know, I pray to him when things is good too. You know what I'm saying? And vice versa. So it's like, you know, with that being said, man, it, it's just, you know, I always always had clear visions of God really healing my body and bringing me out of it and me just being back to me. And before I was sick, man, look, I was huh, on the stage, bro. You couldn't catch me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Man, out there in Dorita, Louisiana, bro, uh, Mississippi, uh, 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 Atlanta, 
bro, you couldn't catch me. You couldn't catch me at all, bro. I was one of the the, the most moving, grooviest cat it was out there. I was at every bodega gas station with the trunk popped. You know what I'm saying? Getting out the mud. You feel what I'm saying? Like, bro. And I mean, like at the end of the day, it really ain't no 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 slowing down. It's a little bit now because, like I said, it's been six years on dialysis. So, yeah, it, it's starting to take its toll. Like, I had dialysis today. So, uh, you know what I'm saying? I, I feel good, but at the end of the day, I know I can't run a mile. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But sometimes I push myself. I get off of dialysis to go rock a show. Just, just you know what I'm saying? Because I, I, it ain't no giving up. Giving up is no option. Sitting down only brings laziness. Laziness is a sin. I'm far from lazy. You know, uh, the world don't give a F about my sickness. Being on dialysis, don't pay the bills. You feel what I'm saying? Like, so a go get a hustler where I'm going to stay being, staying doing until God call me home. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to it, you know, uh, like I say, me putting my story out there, walking by faith and not by sight, doing the things I'm doing, writing the stories I'm writing, trying to really put it out there. I don't know what type of help it could bring to me. But I know if I stay quiet on it, you know what I'm saying? I mean, how, how anybody going to know that yeah. I need a new kidney? You know, so. Man. Yeah. Dude, keep that up because, and, and it's probably therapeutic to you. You know what I'm saying? Just talking about it, I'm assuming, which is which is why you have your hands in so many things, specifically the What I Survive podcast that's coming up. Is it therapeutic to you talking about that? that very stuff? therapeutic. It's very therapeutic, man. Like, every... It, it's never, it's never old, you know what I'm saying? Because it's really a testimony. Like I know people that, that, that ain't survived none of it. And you know what I'm saying? May they all rest in peace. You feel what I'm saying? But like, I mean, I've been on a machine next to the home girl that I was raised with. Both of us on dialysis. And the next day she gone, she in heaven now, you know what I'm saying? So it's, 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 it's very therapeutic, so therapeutic for me to be able to share my testimony, to be able to put it out there, uh, talk to people about it. You know what I'm saying? People ask me questions about it. And as much wisdom and knowledge I have on it, I answer those questions to the best of my ability. Because really, I mean, I, you know, I, I'm, I'm slowly but surely, and I need to hurry up and make it more faster, changing the music to awareness. Because I just want to aware people. You know what I'm saying? Like the things to watch out for. You know what I'm saying? So you don't end up in a situation like me. You know what I'm saying? Because it's not what we do, it's how we do it. You feel what I'm saying? So if we really pay attention to the things we put in our body, how we put it in our body, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know the saying, man, if I if I knew what I knew back then, now, you know, I'd do, I'd do it all over. You feel me? Mm -hmm. So, most definitely. 